there are lots of ways to solve this question. We could think about it conceptually, but I think that's risky, and I think most people are gonna get it wrong if they do that. So the better way to handle this is to plug points into equations. We could also use Desmos. We could um, basically guess and check a little bit. We could put this original f of x equation into Desmos. Then we could put in this version with the p, and then keep substituting in all the different answer choices for p, and just see which one looks closest. Because right? in this case, um, they allow us to have a little bit, to be off a little bit. So we could do that, but I also think it's pretty easy to just, instead of thinking about the big picture way that this graph looks, just zero in on like one thing, right? So in this case, I'm gonna just pick a value for x, see what number that gives me for f of x, and then see if I can get the same number from different versions of p. So uh, I would love to pick zero, but I also know how these kinds of equations work, and I know that zero is going to basically wipe out everything, and then it won't matter what p is, so I need it to be something else. So let's make it four, right? Because then this is easy, right? I don't even need the calculator. This is 1.84 to the four over four, which is one, which is just 1.84, right? So I have a clear sense of what I need. That's my magic number. Now, when I plug four in for x in the other equation, I should get the same thing. So let's just go with different values of p, right? So this would be one plus 16 over 100. So I'll do the full work here, but I could do most of this in my head, to the fourth. So that's, if we simplify it, one, 16 over 100 is 0.16, so this is 1.16 to the fourth. So now I would just use this calculator. I wouldn't even go to Desmos. 1.16 to the fourth is 1.81. Not quite the same. But again, remember, we just need to get close. So let's just compare, right? So this would be 1.21 to the fourth. So 1.21 to the fourth is mm, 2.14. And this is gonna start a trend. As we keep going, we're gonna get bigger and bigger numbers because this is how exponents work. All these numbers are greater than uh, one. So as we raise them to exponents, we're gonna get bigger and bigger numbers. So we're just moving further away from our answer. So 1.96 to the fourth, just to confirm, is the very big compared to the answer, 1 point for 14.8. So that's it, that's done. Now, um, like I said, there are other ways to do it. You could go to Desmos. You could also think about how exponent rules work and think about how this like one fourth is gonna get pulled into here. But gosh, I don't know. That feels so risky. And you know, in general, the human brain is not very good about exponents. We just don't think of them very well. Like we have problems with percentages and exponents, all those things, because they just don't really match well with our intuition, right? We can count on our fingers for addition and multiplication if we're really dedicated, but we can't really think about percentages and uh, exponents in an easy way, and that's why we tend to get them wrong on the SAT. The SAT knows this, and they set up situations where we might fail. So don't risk it. Just plug points into equations, and it becomes much, much easier.